Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make these beautiful crochet heart uplifts. It is really beautiful and the pattern is also very easy. You can use these in different purposes. You can hang them and you can use as uh, uplifts. You can sew up on your uh, crochet creations and you can sew up on hats, bags, garments blankets anything you can imagine it is really beautiful okay dear friends let's go on how to make this meanwhile please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much let's go on how to make this this is a very nice scrap yarn project if you have this kind of small scrap yarns you can make these crochet hearts I'm using cotton yarn for this project and I'm using 3 mm hook. We also need a darning needle like this and we need a scissors to cut the yarn ends. We are starting from the center. I'm taking my yarn in my hand and I'm starting by making magic ring. Like this, turning, keeping this here. I am making three chains, one, two and three, yarn over. I am inserting my hook in this ring, yarn over, pull through. I am making a double crochet, yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring. I am making another double crochet. Considering the first three chains, now uh, I have three double crochet in this. Now I am making one chain. Be careful, we are crocheting around these two yarn, like this. This ring and also this yarn end, we are crocheting around uh, both of them. I made one chain, yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring, making three double crochet. This is one, this is two this is three making one chain yarn over inserting my hook in the ring and making three more double crochet this is one this is two this is three one chain making three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three let's count how many blocks we have if we call each three double crochet one block uh, we can count how many blocks we made this is one block this is two block this is three and this is four we have four blocks and one two three three spaces we have for the fourth space we are making one chain like this and i am pulling this yarn end and closing this ring like this and I am inserting my hook at top of the first three chains, like this. Yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch. First row is finished. Now I will come to this space, this following space. For this reason, I am going to make slip stitches one by one by inserting my hook in each following space. Let's make it together, inserting my hook in the following stitch yarn over pull through making a slip stitch going to the following stitch yarn over pull through making a slip stitch now i can come to the space yarn over pull through this time i am going to make a single stitch like this i am making four chains one two three four yarn over i am skipping this following block going to the following space first of all making three double crochet in there this is one double crochet 
this is second double crochet and this is third double crochet making one chain inserting my hook again in the same space making three more double crochet this is a one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet i'm making one chain skipping this block going to the following space first of all i am making three double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet like this now i am going to make two chains one two why i am making two chains uh, in this space because we are going to make uh, this uh, sharp place for this reason i made two chains yarn over i am inserting my hook again in the same space and i am making three double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet i am making one chain skipping this block going to this uh, following space and first of all i am making three double crochet one moment this is double crochet one this is two and this is three i am making one chain inserting my hook in the space again making three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three now i am going to make four chains with these four chains we are going to make the top side of the heart dear friends we made here four chains now we are here we are going to make the other four chains don't make the chains tight make them a bit loose one two three four you know when we come to this first space we made a single stitch i am inserting my hook in there yarn over pull through making a slip stitch it's been like this now we are going to make the border with a single stitch let me show you like this you know i made single stitch all around the heart first of all i am inserting my hook in the following space and making a single stitch after that i am making four more single stitches this is one this is two this is three and this is four from now on one by one i am going to make single stitches till this bottom side i mean the sharp place there is a stitch here i'm inserting my hook in there making a single stitch going to the following stitch making a single stitch in there now i am going to the following stitch and making a single stitch in there i am going to the space making another single stitch in there there is a stitch here inserting my hook in there making another single stitch i am going on making single stitches one by one by inserting my hook in each following uh, stitch and also when i come to the space i'm inserting my hook in there making another single stitch in there like this i am coming to the bottom of the heart i mean the sharp place of the heart like this yes i came here in this uh, bigger space in this space i am going to make two single stitches in order to keep the sharp shape of the heart from now on i will go on again making one by one single stitch and like this i am completing the border now i am here
I am in the space in the space I made one single stitch as well I am going on one by one and here in this space I am going to make five single stitch one two three four and five single stitch we are shaping with our hand like this okay. now uh, I will show you how we are going to hide this uh, yarn end uh, in an invisible way for this reason I am cutting this by leaving a longer yarn end we need a darning needle I'm taking my darning needle in my hand like this now how I am going to finish uh, the border with an invisible way you see the first uh, single stitch here I am inserting my hook from front to back like this pulling like this you see uh, these stitches are like v-shape like this uh, one uh, part of the v-shape this is the second part of the v-shape by inserting our hook from front to back we made the first uh, part of the v-shape now we are going to make the second uh, part of the v-shape how we are going to make it I am here in the back I am inserting my hook from front of this to the back like this by this way we finished the second part of the v-shape by making like this we are closing the border in an invisible way now I am going to hide this yarn and how I am doing it I will use also the needle with the help of the needle I'm going to hide it I'm making pull through the yarn end with the help of the needle through the back side of the stitches like this turning to the other side in order to fix well and now I can cut the rest like this now I am going to hide the yarn end of the magic ring I am pulling tightly I'm taking my darning needle in my hand okay first of all from left to right I will make pull through a few times I am doing this when making this uh, be careful the stitches uh, will not look in the front side we are doing this only the back side back stitches of the back side yes a few times I'm doing this after making a few times turning to the other side okay yes I'm making a knot I am pulling and cutting the yarn end. Okay, we fixed the magic ring center as well, like this. This is the back side, this is the front side. We are shaping in our hand like this. It's been beautiful and very neatly heart shape. This is also a very nice project for the Valentine's Day, uh, dear friends. You can put them side by side and you can uh, connect them with a rope and you can make a beautiful garland and you can ornament your house uh, during Valentine's Day.
also for the birthdays uh, and other parties you can use uh, these heart obliques it is really beautiful okay dear friends we came to the end of another project video thank you so much watching this video i will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials i will be happy if you subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much see you in the coming videos Thank mm -hmm. you.